lines you wouldn't hear in a TV detective show. Next up on uh, Channel 5, a woman has a painful wrist in RSI Miami. <laughs> <laughs> of course I dusted for Prince. I'm his cleaner and he prefers to be known as the artist formerly known as Prince. <laughs> How did I recognise him from just his genitalia? <laughs> well... <laughs> it was the red and blue paisley pyjamas <laughs> around the outside. Well, then they'll think of Leopold, then they'll put some plink and plunk and... Well, you could tell that 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 well, you could Do you not speak Danish? <laughs> This week, Rosemary and Time are joined by two Indian detectives. Turmeric and chilli. <laughs> You're going to arrest me for making lewd and childish innuendos? I hope you don't expect me to come quietly. <laughs> this week, there's panic in midsummer as they meet their first black man. Oh, you said it was a who done it. Yeah, we arrested Hugh Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> I think I have solved it, Watson. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> there has been a heinous crime committed on the Orient Express. Somebody has done a shit while the train was still in a station. <laughs> Leave me alone, Watson. I'm going to go back into my mind palace and have the wank of a lifetime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The murderer has cut out the victim's tongue. Let's get that back to the lab. I've got some envelopes need licking. <laughs> Now, Constable, the fact that you've had to redo the chalk outline 17 times should surely be an indication that the victim is still alive. <laughs> I shoot my gun like I shoot my load into my hand. You're under arrest, you're not obliged to say anything, but anything you do say means you'll be an actor rather than an extra and you get paid a bit more. <laughs> <laughs> so you say that at the time of the murder, you were hosting Daybreak on ITV. So there's no witnesses to corroborate. <laughs> Hello, we're the fashion police. Let's see the body. Oh, blue with green. He deserves to die. 